Hello, welcome to another video, and today I just wanted to talk about Hidden Machine, because I've seen this on quite a few flak builds recently, when either it's there and it shouldn't be there, or it could be there and it's not. So, I wanted to discuss how the skill actually works, since it's uh, it's fairly well known that the skill is weird and it's not terribly consistent. I just wanted to um, explain why it's not consistent and um, when you can actually use it. So, when an enemy has no target or is attacking a different target, Flak deals increased damage against them. This is 30%, it's V2, so it's actually quite good damage. Uh, however, it relies on the enemy's, enemy's aggro. And there's two instances where you can ensure an enemy isn't aggroed on you. And one of these, which I use a lot, you will notice in a lot of my flak speed kill videos, entering a fight whilst in fadeaway. The boss will not aggro you, allowing you for that first fadeaway to utilize hidden machine. And the second one is exactly the same, but for mobs. If you're in fadeaway and a mob comes out of a spawn door and uh, you have hidden machine, it will apply versus that enemy until, of course, you leave fadeaway. So... Those are two instances where you can ensure this is active, but that's not enough. If you are not running any kind of aggro relief, unless you're doing some kind of boss melt and boss melt only with that spec, don't, don't take hidden machine. However, we've got not my circus, which is a really, really good augment. It's after fadeaway ends, our pet will taunt or gain damage reduction. They'll taunt for a good amount of time, definitely enough to get our uh, fadeaway back with headcount and megavore and whatnot. So, uh, not my circus is really good and this enables hidden machine uh if they pull aggro since fadeaway doesn't going into fadeaway is not going to pull aggro uh the enemies will either kill, keep shooting at you or they'll shoot where you were when you activated it it'll count as aggro on you and it just it's not good enough it, it's it's not good enough you need not my circus to break aggro and it's actually quite good so if you want to use hidden machine if you want to get this damage bonus Make sure you've got Not My Circus, or you're doing a very niche bossing setup with, say, maybe um, Unblinking Eye or uh, Apes in the Haze. Uh, that's pretty good. But uh, otherwise, my favorite, Not My Circus, until you're dead. Good combo. Now, of course, if your pet is going to be taking aggro, yes, they get a ton of damage reduction. They're still taking damage, and a lot of it. You only need to keep your pet alive. Do not neglect BFFs, it's actually quite good. Just one point is all you need. I put in two because I needed to get to the bottom of the tree, but... BFFs, <laughs> do, do, do not neglect your pet. You, you, it's very, very handy, you know, you get the you get the bonuses in there depending on what pet you're using. It's aggro relief. It's a frenzy if you've got it, that kind of thing. Uh, Rage Recover, uh, it, it doesn't really work right. It's 1.6% per point and 8% if you've got all five uh, per second over three seconds. That is not true. It is actually 8% of missing health over three seconds. So it's much less than you would think just reading it on the card. So Rage and Recover, it can do something if you've got five, but if you're just doing this, I see a lot of this. It's like they have, uh, somebody will have one or two points in Rage and Recover, like one point in Overclocked, which is very common for some reason. They neglect these two, maybe go for some eager points. Don't do that. <laughs> um, either go all in or none for Rage and Recover. Uh, Self-repairing system's pretty good, especially where, with a, a point in BFFs. That does help keep your pet alive quite a lot. So uh, th those are just some options there to try and get down the tree. And of course, if you're not, if you're using a U-Rad build, you probably won't want uh, either of these three skills anyway. You'll just want to unlock until you're dead and move on. Uh, this is more for um, a tanky build with uh, that actually keeps health gate with uh, say consecutive hits and whatnot to get these two skills. But yeah, that's a quick short video on hidden machine when and when not to take it. Um, relies on a not my circus pretty much or at the start of a boss fight with Unblinking Eye and Primates in the Poof, so... Um, I hope this video helped. Thank you for watching, and I will see you next time. Bye-bye.